Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Today is Wednesday, uh, April 4th, 2018, and vlog number 93. Yeah, I think 93. So, I am off. I need to go pick up a friend of mine from their house and bring him to the airport. He asked me for a favor, and I agreed to do this in a little favor. Do a little airport run. No big deal. At least buy me breakfast for that. Ugh. Get me some bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from McDonald's. Enjoy that. Enjoy that shit pretty good. Haven't had a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit in a while. And uh, when I was mentioning that to her the other day, that I haven't had it for a while, I also mentioned that, you know, it's been a while, maybe like what, a year, um, two years, since McDonald's started their uh, all day breakfast menu. And I know not like right when they started it, but um, you know, they had a kind of a limited menu because it was kind of their experimentation uh, into all day breakfast. But um, they, uh, they started with their regular like egg, egg McMuffins and stuff. But, I know they did add more stuff to their all-day breakfast, and one of them, of course, was the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Now, out of all, out of all McDonald's breakfast items, that is my favorite: bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Um, I just, I love the biscuit. I love the, I love bacon. Um, usually, like an egg McMuffin. You know, egg McMuffins are alright, but they have like. You know, the sausage on there is kind of boring. Um, but ever since they started their all-day breakfast thing, I've yet to get their breakfast during the day. I don't know why. I've done it. I've just never done it yet. You know, usually when I, um, if I, like, have a craving for McDonald's, like, during the day to go get for lunch or something, um, I usually have a craving for something more specific than McDonald's, like a, you know, cheeseburger or quarter pounder or chicken nuggets or something. You know, I get to have a craving in the middle of the day for uh, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit or any type of breakfast item for that matter. <laughs> so, what's your favorite? Oh, really? That's interesting. I'm kidding. I'm talking to myself. Um, I used to always love their pancakes as well, but it's been years since I had that pancake, so I don't know if they're still good. Um, I used to call them hot cakes. You remember, like back in the day, they used to like come on a, um, like a cardboard tray um, container. Um, those, they were pretty good back in the day. Never have a McGriddle. I had a McGriddle once. And, oh my god. And I know McDonald's is not the best food for you in any context. If you're looking to like um, lose weight or watch your calorie intake or just try to eat healthy. McDonald's is not nothing on McDonald's menu is good. You know, they like to say, oh you get a salad. No, fuck it. Your salad's you know, just as bad, especially when you have it with um, dressing on it. But like the McGriddle? Because it has like this like syrup infused bread. Uh, I think it's an English muffin um, or something. It's like so much worse than a regular like egg muffin. It, some I remember them, someone saying like a single McGriddle has like more calories than a Big Mac. Now, that's ridiculous. I also remember um, years ago when uh, Burger King, you know, they Burger King has a good breakfast too, or a fast food place. Um, one of the things that they had, you know, of course they have like their typical sandwiches, but one of them, you know, they their, their staples like a, a was a croissant witch or something like that. Those are pretty good. But for a little while, they used to have a sandwich 
I don't remember the name of it, but I do remember the commercial. It was all like touting it with like this meat on top of meat. And it just had so much stuff on it. They basically they got like their like long buns that they usually put like their chicken sandwiches on. Um, and they put like two servings of eggs, two things of cheese, like you know, two servings of bacon, and two sausages on, on this long bun thing. The thing was amazing, don't get me wrong, but I could imagine the calories in that thing. My god, that, that's like hard tech city. Ah, that stuff was good though. What? Cool. Um, so anyways. Oh, I really had nothing to talk about for today's vlog. I just wanted to talk about, um, breakfast. I'm thinking about breakfast. So. That bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit sounds mighty, mighty fine right now. So, I am almost at my friend's house, so I think I'm going to not get into an accident. Uh, I'll have to eat some good breakfast. Here. Now that I can eat, and you know, any day, any time of the day. I mean, I've had like pancakes and waffles, you know, at, late, you know, at night, like dinner time at IHOP. Cause you're at IHOP. So, that's like kind of the point of going to IHOP is that like you can have anything on their menu anytime you want. Um, even breakfast items, so. Of course, back in the day, like, me and my buddies, you know, we used to go to IHOP in the middle of the night. Um, you know, just for goofing around. Um, just because we're bored. And we didn't, like, party or something when we were young. You know, we just went to IHOP in the middle of the night because we were nine hours. Talking about gaming and stuff. And then, like, later on, when me and my, um, me and my friend, we got Monster Hunter on PSP, we used to go to IHOP at, like, you know, 1 a.m. and sit there, like, till like, 5 a.m., just, you know, doing nothing but playing Monster Hunter. And that shit was great. We put so many hours into Monster Hunter back then. It was ridiculous. like the first Monster Hunter game on PSP. I know I had like over 300 hours in that game. We used to have like our missions down to a T. Get that, get that rat loose. Ah, so good. The first one I think is like driving really close. I don't like it. I mean, that's why I wonder why I have like my uh, interior lights on. stop this video, but I kind of want to, like, get to a stopping point, and I think I'm stopping right about here, so, uh, I'm at my friend's house, so, I will, uh, end this vlog on a boring note, um, go and get some breakfast, take my friends to the airport, so I will talk to y'all later, everybody have a good day, and I love you. So check this out. I drove my friends to the airport, and as we drove by on Gibson, drove by this airport parking lot, and uh, what happened did we see? A Ghostbusters car. Now it's not the Ghostbusters Hertz, but it's pretty damn close. I mean, that's pretty badass. I mean, of course they have like New Mexico style stuff there, but it's a Plymouth. The old one was a uh, Buick, I think, the real Ecto one, but that's pretty badass. Buick Belvedere. Sorry, Plymouth Belvedere. My bad, I don't know my cars. 
And that is pretty badass, I gotta say. 